so today i am going to explain the second problem of google code jam round a uh, which is equal sum so uh, what is the problem let me explain it so we are given an integer n uh, which is fixed at 100 so first we will check uh, we will take uh, a 100 distinct integers from 1 to 10 to the power 9 and then our, uh, the tester will give us another n distinct integers from uh, 1 to 10 to the power 9 so these two n integers are all distinct okay so these two n are distinct right now we have to split it uh, split these two integers uh, these two n integers into two sets so we have to split uh, let's say the first set is s1 and the second set is s2 there is no limit so the uh, size of s1 will be uh, 1 to 2n minus 1 2n minus 1 and the uh, size of the second set is same like uh, the second size of the second set will be 2n minus s1 okay so we have to take at least one integer in first set and at least uh, one integer in second set and it is guaranteed that the tester will choose uh, the n integers in such a way that uh, the sum of these two n integers is always even so we uh, we will always we can always split this uh, two n integers into two sets so we have to make some observations here so what is the first, first observation we can make so uh, the first observation we can make is that if we take uh, let's say 100 integers from let's say 1 to let's say 1000 and uh, then the, what will the setter do so the setter will do let's say take 1 10 to the power 9 like first integers will be 10 to the power 9 and then he can choose any integers let's say from 1000 to 2000 okay so then you can already check is that the sum of these 100 integers and the sum of this uh, 99 integers so sum of this th like 199 integers is less than 10 to the power 9 so we cannot split them into two sets okay so that is the first observation we can make so we have to take like uh, one thing uh, like 1 10 to the power 9 kind of uh, like uh, close to 10 to the power 9 something in our first set okay in our chosen integers and what is the second observation we can make the second observation we can make is that this is not observation uh, so I can say is that uh, it is uh, general thinking is that uh, we can make anything like we, if we have all the parts of 2 from let's say 2 to the power 0 to 2 to the power 30 in a set then we can make anything from 0 to 20 to the power 9 anything from 0 to 20 to the power 9 we can make uh, okay I guess you have got it now what is the third observation that I have made the third observation we I have made is that let's say we have a set S of let's say 2n integers then I have to split the S uh, into two subsets S1 and S2 and I have to minimize the uh, absolute difference between some of these two sets. Uh, I think you already know the algorithm. This is a kind of greedy algorithm but uh, which, which what I can do is that uh, I will take the first integer and push it into the first set. Let's say this is A1 and then I will check what is the uh, whose, which subset uh, like s1 or s2 contains uh, some more sum okay so let's say here the sum of the uh, first set s1 is a1 and the sum of the second set is s2 okay so s2 is less than s1 so i am pushing a2 to this okay so at every step i am taking what is the uh, like whose sum is minimum between s1 and s2 then we are putting the current integer into the set so let's say uh, we can put a3 here and we can put a4 here let's say our set is 1 2 3 4 so at the first step so at the first step uh, what we will do at the first step we will push one into the first set and uh, then one the sum of the first set is one and the sum of the second set is zero so we will push two here and then uh, the sum of the first set is one and the sum of the second set is two so we will push three here now the sum of the subset is the first set is four and the sum of the second set is two so the sum of the second set is minimum so we are pushing to four here so the sum of the first set is 1 plus 3 4 and the sum of the second set is 2 plus 4 6 so this is not the optimal algorithm you can say but what we can get is that uh, the absolute difference between the sum of s1 minus sum of s2 will always be less than equals to any element of the set okay any element of s that is one algorithm we can take so so what is my approach so i will now show you my what is my approach so what I have did is that uh, I have taken 31 integers from what from 2 to the power 0 to 2 to the power 30 so 2 to the power 30 is 10 less than 10 to the power 9 so this is the 2 to the power 30 is the least number which is power of 2 and less than 10 to the power 9 and uh, 
uh, greatest number okay and uh, i have i will take another 69 numbers now uh, this 69 numbers and uh, what the tester will give us tester will give us another 100 numbers so i will combine this 100 number plus this 69 number so what we will get 169 numbers now we will have a set containing 169 numbers so let's say this is the set s now i will split this set into two subsets s1 and s2 so uh, with the previous algorithm greedy algorithm what i have showed so the difference between sum of s1 minus s2 will be what the difference between sum of the uh, s1 minus s2 will be less than equal to 9 because all the numbers from uh, S, like this 169 numbers are less than 10 to the 1 9. So the absolute difference between these two set using the greedy algorithm will be less than equal to 10 to the 1 9. So let's say this is D. So D, D is the absolute difference between S1 and S2. Okay. Now we have these 31 integers. So the sum of the 31 integers, let's say S, the sum of the 31 integers is what? It's 2 to the 0 plus 2 to the 1 to 2 to the 30, which is 2 to the 31 minus 1. So this is odd. Now I have to split this S into two sets such that one set contains let's say K and another set contains K plus D. Let's say now uh, let's say S1 is greater than equal to S2. So S1 is greater than equal to S2 and uh, S1 uh, is equal to S2 plus D. Okay. Now if we add K to uh, K plus D to S1 uh, sorry. Now S1 is greater than equal to S2. Now if we add K plus D to second set S2 and K to uh, first set K, we will get two sets with equal sum, right? So what I have to do currently now is we have to split this S into two sets, uh, which has K and K plus D. So what I can do is that 2K plus D is S and uh, K is equal to S, plus, uh, S minus D by 2. Now another thing is to observe is that why s minus d by 2 is even. Now s is odd and uh, uh, s is odd and our sum is even. So total sum s plus s1 plus s2 is even. Okay. S2 is even. Now s is 2 to the 31 minus 1. So this is odd. Let's say this is sk. Okay. So s plus s1 plus s2 is even. S is odd. So one of the these two s1 and s2 should obviously be odd. So the difference between S1 minus S2 should be odd. Now S is odd and the difference between these two set is also odd. So S minus D should always be even. So I have to split, uh, I have to get K from this. So I have already told that I can get any integer from 1 to 10 to the power 9 from this uh, 2 to the 31 integers. So this is quite easy to split. So uh, I will uh, show you my code now. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section, right? So here I have taken in as input and uh, here I am storing the all the parts of 2 which are less than equal to 9 right. So uh, and here I am taking uh, any integers you can take any random integers but I have taken all the integers from like uh, decreasing the decreasing order from 10 to the 9. If the, these are not power of 2 visited will always contain the all the numbers which are not power of 2 okay. So uh, now I will append this to R. So this will uh, this set R will contain 69 integers and uh, at the end i am appending a to r so this is the set like uh, first 31 integers and like uh, last 69 integers so i have added them and i have printed the array now uh, b will give us our like tester will give us our input uh, like uh, the 100 integers now uh, with the, using the greedy algorithm i am splitting them into two sets d1 and d2 if the sum of the first set is less than equal to sum of the second set uh, I, I am appending the current integer into the first set else i am appending the current integer into the second set and at the end i am taking the difference between these two c1 minus c2 which is z uh, now i am doing s minus z by 2 which i have explained here what i am doing is this is k okay so uh, if uh, let's say uh, let's say k is uh, let's say 1 0 1 1 so i will take 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 1 and 2 to the power 0 i think you already know what i am going to do so uh, here i am appending to d1 if the size of the first set is greater than equal to size of the second set okay at the end i am printing the first set i think uh, this part is quite trivial you will uh, all will understand that if you still have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section i will reply uh, if you uh, have benefited from the video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.